Hello there Monsters and Men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to this exclusive look to the new Hyundai Ioniq 5. Yes, I have the opportunity for half an hour to take a look at this car and because the car is standing in that glass box over there. Keep in mind, it is a prototype, a pre-production car, so not everything that you see in this video is like the final product, but most of it will. So let's not wait anymore and let's have a look at the car. All right, here we are in the glass cage. Here is the concept car that is brought to life, the Hyundai Ioniq 5. First impression of this car, it is actually quite big. I expected it to be as big as, I think, a Hyundai i30, just a C-segment hatchback. But to give you a, a perspective, the car is 4.6 meters long and 1.9 meters wide. And that means the car is as big as a Hyundai Tucson. So yeah, that is actually, actually quite big. Here is the charge board on the side. It's actually motorized. There we have the charging indicators. And what is nice about this car, or actually nice, very awesome about this car, is that it uses the same architecture as the Porsche Taycan and also the Audi e-tron GT. So that means this car has a 800 volt battery architecture. And because of that 800 volt architecture, this car can fast charge with up to 230 kilom kilometers with up to 230 kilowatts. Sorry, I said kilometers, I mean kilowatts. 230 ki kilowatts. Can you imagine? This car will charge from 10 to 80% in about 20 minutes. I mean, that is next level of fast charging. A fun fact, besides the charging, is that this car, I hope you can see it properly, on the roof has solar panels. Of course, this is an option, but those solar panels, under ideal conditions, ideal sunny conditions, they will give you about 1,000 kilometers of extra range in one year. So let's have a look inside the car. There are some other customers here. Let's have a look at the back seats already. Popping out, being a modern car, fancy pantsy, popping out door handles, of course. If we take a look inside the car here, it's all very, very white interior quality. Soft touch here on the door, soft touch armrest. And as you can see here, the back seats, you can actually recline them. Whoop, something happened. As you can see, they moved forward now. And you can also adjust them electrically. What the Hyundai tried to do with this car is give it, is give it a real lounge kind of feeling. So let's have a closer look here. These are the front lights. I turned them on right now. Look at that concept car, isn't it? It looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. I will give you a few numbers now. I have my phone with me because, well, I only have half an hour with this car. <laughs> Look at how awesome that looks. But anyway, this is the top of the range model, of course, being the first edition is actually called the Hyundai Ioniq Project 45. This car has a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. The WLTP range is around 430 kilometers. It has all wheel drive, 305 horsepower and 605 newton, newton meters of torque. It can do zero to 100 in about 5.2 seconds. And the car is limited to 185 kilometers an hour. Look at those rear lights made off of tiny little blocks. They look really cool, don't they? Of course, this is the top of the range model. Also, other versions will be available with rear wheel drive and also with a smaller battery pack. This particular version here in the Netherlands will cost you about 60,000 euros. I think 58 to 59. Right now, I close the charge port manually. In a production version, it is motorized. Let's open up the boot. Of course, electric tailgate. 
And that is actually very, <laughs> very big. This car does have a boot of about 530 liters, so almost as big as a Volkswagen ID4. Again, this car is huge. I expected it to be so much tinier. You can also put the rear seats down, of course, and then you have a boot space of around um, 1,600 liters. What can you find on the boot floor? A little space where you can store your charge cables, for example. Of course, there is a motor under here, so you don't have the most amount of space. Let's have a look at the front. I popped open the, the hood. Can I open it? Yep, there we go. And again, this car has all-wheel drive. There is a little frunk here, but it is not really big. Big enough to store your charge cables, but besides that, not a whole lot. Of course, when you have the rear-wheel rear drive version, your frunk will be a little bit bigger. First impression here in the rear, well, this is an electric car, so there's no hump in the floor. As I already said, I can move the back seats forward and also backwards. Headroom is okay, knee room is absolutely huge. I don't know how the seat in front of me is right now, but this is absolutely huge. I can shove my feet under the seat in front of me. Very spacious, this car is very spacious. You do have some blinders, which is, well, never seen that before. Heated seats, vent. you have your vents over here. Yeah, quality is good, and the seats are nice. It's <laughs> nothing to complain back here, really nothing. Again, you can also recline the seats like that so you can chill how you want because well this is a lounge car this should be a lounge where you can relax and enjoy the ride also impression here in the front is really good you have this huge storage space up here it's nice and open which gives it a roomy feeling you can somehow yeah you can also adjust this you can bring it more forward for your arm you can also bring it more backwards if you want and well everything is digital you do have some shortcut buttons here under your infotainment system for your infotainment system your climate control buttons are touch based what is funny though is that this car does have a start start button so no uh, so the car is not on when you get inside the car with your key that is not something we see on modern evs steering wheel there's no hyundai logo on it and that is because well that would distract you from the driving and from the lounge feeling in this car what can i do here can i go home i can go home there should be some kind of lounge setting in your seats but i don't know how to actually initiate that if i'm honest and here is how it looks if you can find the lounge mode button of the front seats as you can see you can totally lie down so while you're charging you can I don't know, take a nap for example. Speaking about charging, this car does have two-way charging. So that means it can take electricity, duh, but it can also give electricity to other, well, electronics. And it can give that up to 3.6 kilowatts. You can, well, for example, charge another car with it. Or if you take this car um, on a camping trip, you can bring your coffee machine and just plug that into your vehicle and then you have good coffee in the morning. Besides that, quality in here, everything just feels good. You have your drive selector here on the steering wheel actually, so just like a Tesla for example, and there's a little drive mode button here on your steering wheel, which makes it look a little bit like a Ferrari. Infotainment, itse infotainment system itself, it works fast, it actually looks a lot like the systems you find still in the, in the Kona for example, and in all modern Hyundais. And as we know, there's nothing to complain about this system because it just works really, really well. So yeah, first impression of this car, really good. I'm really looking forward to drive this car later this summer. I mean, it's all so roomy in here. What else is here? Well, you, again, you do have a huge storage space here in the middle. You have two USB ports. You don't have a glove box, but actually a glove drawer. drawer. It actually slides out instead of fall, falling out. Your door pockets though are not that big, but again, you do have huge storage space up here and also down here, man, this car feels so roomy, I'm amazed by it. Time flies when you're having fun, right? And I am really grateful to Hyundai in the Netherlands for 
letting me have this opportunity. I find it really, really awesome and I hope you did too. And if you cannot wait for, well, the review of this car this summer, because that is when this car is on the road, do subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss it. If you like this video, please give a like. And if you don't, well, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now, thank you lots for watching. And as always, till we continue.